Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Edith for all of those that don't know me and today I want to share with you guys just tips and tricks on how to get straight A's taking prerequisites for nursing. If you are a, nur a pre-nursing student, you do know that these classes are super important. They should not be taken lightly. You need to give it your absolute all and your best and I just want to share these these tips that worked for me and hopefully they work for you. Let's get to it. My step, my step, <laughs> my tip number one is study early. I cannot emphasize this enough. Guys, cramming is not, if you are the type of person that can cram everything, May the Lord continue to bless you because I'm not one of those students. I cannot sit there and cram in all this information. So if you want to get an A, you, first of all, you need to shoot for that 100. You need to shoot for that A in that exam. And you need to maintain that A through the entire semester. In order for you to do that, you need to start studying early. So let's say that I have an exam in exactly a week from tonight, from today. Then I will start studying today and I will pretty much uh, give myself enough time to study because cramming is not the, it's, it just doesn't work for me. Especially because these questions, at least the, the classes that I took, of course it all depends on the on your professor and what type of questions they give, but my professors were extremely difficult and their questions were not easy at all. So I need to, I had, I really had to make sure that I was doing my part and studying every single day and preparing myself. So have enough time to study. My tip number two is get a whiteboard. Teach yourself. This is by far the best thing I did taking my pre-nursing classes. I What I did is I went to Target, my local Target, and I bought a big whiteboard literally the size of this <laughs> entire frame and I would write everything down on my whiteboard. If you can teach it to someone else, then you know the material. Tip number three is use your school resources. I personally never ever went to tutoring. Not because I didn't need it, but because I just never did. I never went to tutoring, but there's always a first time for everything. And my first time, oh, it's getting hot up in here. My first time was when I was taking chemistry. Guys, the chemistry, Oh my God. Honestly, by the grace of God, I passed that class with an A. That class was super challenging and my professor was 88, so he did not make it any easier for us. But what I did is I actually went to my school tutoring and it was the best thing ever. The tutors there were amazing. They taught me so much and I learned so much more because chemistry for me personally was not, was a subject that I could not learn on my own or through videos on YouTube, which is a big help as well. But no, I actually had to go and tell them like, I don't get this problem. I don't understand. And they would break it down to me. So use your resources guys and don't be scared to go to tutoring. It's honestly the best thing ever. And I wish I would have done that with my other prereqs, but I only did it for chemistry. So use your resources, go to tutoring. Another big, big tip that worked for me personally is record the lectures. Guys, this was amazing. If your professor allows you to record um, in the class, I would highly advise for you to record it. Your phone actually has a voice memo and this is what it looks like where you just start recording there you go it's recording me already so what i would do before every single class i would walk in class leave my phone um right in the front of the class close to the professor and he would just talk and my phone would be recording at the end of the class i would just save it with the date every single time i would do that every single lecture just in case if i miss something on my notes because the, my my anatomy class was super challenging where he didn't provide you any notes he would just talk 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 and you had to write everything down if you missed it oh well so i would leave my phone up in the front and he would record everything and it would record everything and in case I miss something on my notes I can always reference back to my um, my recording and that's where I was able to get whatever whatever information I um, I missed so that is something I've done for all of my classes except for chemistry another tip to pass anatomy with an A was this amazing app guys this app was everything to me I did pay 20 or 25 dollars I don't remember but this app called Atlas, it is the best app 
ever. I cannot emphasize how amazing this app is. Personally, to me, um, anatomy was not very, it was a lot of memorizing, but I can't do flashcards. Every single class, I would try to do flashcards because I feel like, oh my goodness, everyone uses flashcards, I have to use one too. But flashcards aren't for everyone. Learn yourself. Learn what, like, are, what's the best way you retain information? Is it by flashcards? Is it by writing everything down? Is it by replaying the recording of the lecture? So study yourself and what's the best way that you learn? Uh, so for me, in anatomy, um, flashcards did not work for me because I just didn't want to be carrying my flashcards everywhere I would go. So I would I pretty much have this on my phone and I would just study my bones and my muscles and the nerves and all that good information. This is how it looks, right? So it's a skeleton. So you see if I click on this bone, it's the femur bone and it tells you. And another cool thing about this app is that it has like the actual skeletal system um, and then it has the muscles and then it has the nerves. So it has everything that you're gonna go, you're gonna be learning in anatomy class. And another thing that I like about this app is that not only does it show you the bones, but it also breaks it down to you. So let's say the, the frontal bone, right? The cool thing about it is in anatomy, you're gonna learn that you're gonna be not only learning the major bones, but like the little parts of the bones, which is very, very important. So it will break it down to you. Like this is obviously the frontal bone and it tells you each part within that bone. So it's super, super important. And again, this helped me out so much. Trust me when I say this, it's absolutely worth 20 to $25. I think it's $20 or 22, I'm not sure. So another big, big tip that I did with all of my prereqs is pray before every study session. That's something that I did every single time I sat down. I would just ask the Holy Spirit and God to just Keep my mind focused, help me retain any information I had to learn because God knows what's going to be on that, that exam. So I would just ask him to just draw my focus to the areas that were going to be on the exam. Another big thing that I recommend is rewriting your notes. Like I mentioned, when you get a map, when you get the whiteboard, I, I mean, you can do it on paper, but it's just, you're just wasting paper at that point. So what I like to do is I just, like I mentioned, get a whiteboard, rewrite everything. When you're teaching yourself, rewrite your notes and then go back to your notes and see what you missed. And then you're like, that honestly helped me out so much. I would just rewrite all my notes on my whiteboard and then, I'll, and then I would reference back to my actual notes and let's say I forgot about a section I'll be like okay like that means I don't really know this so let me review this little part that's going to keep you um, pretty much accountable to learn everything that you need to know another tip is to create a study plan I uh, what I love to do is like I mentioned I would give myself a week or a week and a half before the exam to start studying. So I would tell myself, okay, by Friday, I need to know this and this. By Sunday, I need to know this and this. Then I would allow myself two days before the exam to know everything. So the two days before the exam, I can study the entire material, if that makes any sense. I would create questions. I would create questions like, oh, the, create example questions that might be on the exam. I would also Google, Google is your best friend. I would just Google, let's say we're learning about, I don't know, something in physiology. And I would just put questions about blank. And that would help me like, okay, and, and I'm not gonna lie, there would be sometimes where I'll be like, I don't get this question. And then I would be like, oh wait, that means I don't really know the material. So I would go back and relearn it or spend more time studying that type of that material. Another big tip that helped me study and get A's in um, my prereqs, it's gonna sound weird because I've never been this person, is listening to meditation music. I, before taking my prereqs, never used any music to study. If anything, I'm the type of person that I need to study in complete silence, meaning like if there's a bit of noise, I am not concentrated at all. But when I was taking these classes, I just came across this meditation music YouTube video, you can say, and it's so weird, but it would honestly help me focus. I can't explain it. If someone can explain this to me, please do so. I'm gonna leave the link down below of the study meditation song or video I would play every single time I would study. I kid you guys not, this video honestly would help me meditate because it's just like, the music is soft, it's meditation music. It just really helped me concentrate. So, hey, try it out, you have nothing to lose. If you are working full time like I was and you're volunteering and you have so much going on, my advice to you would be do not, do not 
take all the prerequisites all at once. I know that if I, I know sometimes it's easier, like, you know what, I just want to get out the way. I know that if I, if I take it um, right now or if I take all the classes this semester, I can apply for next semester. Do not burden yourself with more than you can possibly handle because, again, these classes, you need to strive for that 100. You need to strive for that, for that A. Um, it's highly because again the nursing program all nursing programs are super competitive so you need to make sure that you're on top of your game that you have A's in these classes and hey if you're the type of person again that you can handle a full-time job volunteering everything and then all these prerequisites on the side going to school full-time go ahead and do it but me personally I did not do that and my last tip is to Learn yourself. Learn the way that you study. Are you the type of person that you study better watching videos? Are you the type of person that you're better at reading it, at drawing it out? You can even draw it out, especially anatomy and physiology. If you can draw it all, draw it all out. You know, if that works for you, do it. Do whatever works for you because everyone, um, everyone learns differently. So that is it for this video. These are the tips and tricks that helped me pass all my prerequisite nursing courses. Um, with A's so I hope that it was beneficial to you because it truly was something that helped me pass these classes. If you do have any questions please feel free to let me know and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!